Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not quite sure uh, what to say after that. But uh, perhaps uh, the, the gongs just referred to are, are not that relevant for many of you. I think uh, where I come from is actually having been part of an executive team uh, that took a Yorkshire business based uh, originally in Bradford, Sheffield and Leeds with three offices uh, into what is now the second largest law firm in the world. Uh, we have a presence in 30 countries and 65 offices uh, and a turnover of over a billion pounds. And the only relevance of that is that is real business. It does not mean it's irrelevant that we're a law firm. What it means is that businesses from this region that have the vision, that have the commitment, can deliver for the benefit of the region and for the benefit of the UK economy. Now, what is today about? Well, uh, firstly, on behalf of the LET Board, can I just welcome you, as, as Keith has already said, the turnout to this is fantastic. Uh, when we were originally planning the summit, I had some concerns. Would we sh have enough interest from the world out there? Uh, will people stay with us through the journey that has to be made? And today is the start of a journey. It's the start of a conversation. Today of itself needs to be a creative and constructive conversation. It's not just about us telling you things. It's about us listening as well and learning what you as the business community, what you as the public sector think we should be doing. The plan that we launched today sets out what is a high-level strategy. It's setting out some clear objectives for the future, and we then, listening to you and working with you, need to develop the action plans that will deliver that strategy. And that strategy simply has to be delivered. It has to be delivered because if we do not generate economic and employment growth, we do not have the fuel to do everything else that this city region needs. The proposals that we have, the actions that we all agree to take, will produce that fuel for the benefit of all parts of this city region and everybody within the city region. You know, the age of handouts has gone. We have to do what we can in this region and take control of our own economy. We simply cannot wait and expect other people, central government or anybody else, to do this with us. Neither can we of ourselves influence what is happening directly around the world. You know, I can't do a lot about the Greek economy at the moment. Uh, I can, we can do a lot about the city region economy, and we need to work to together to deliver that. We are in the most turbulent economic times that most of us have ever known. We're in times of huge competition for investment. We're in times of huge reduction in public sector spending and support. Simply, we are in a different world. That world is not going to change. We are not going back to the old days of public sector spending support at the level we've seen. We have to find ways of delivering ourselves. Uh, and uh, I note uh, those of you who follow The Wires early in this morning uh, will perhaps have seen that Barack Obama uh, announced a £450 billion support package for the US economy. Uh, if any of you think I'm making an announcement on similar lines, I'm afraid you're going to be sadly disappointed. But actually, the first comment on that in the FT this morning said, that's palliative, it's not a cure. We have to find some cures for the economy. We have to find ways to achieve economic growth. You've already seen quite a lot this morning in terms of the background uh, and the video uh, is there partly to emphasize that background. And I'm not going to go back through, through things you've heard before. But in addition to those facts, you know, the LEP here is the largest LEP in economic terms in the UK outside of London. We have the largest manufacturing centre outside of London. We have the largest financial business and legal support services sector outside of London. That point that was made, not only uh, that we're bigger than Wales, but that we're bigger than eight European countries in economic terms, is hugely important and almost unknown. This region has simply not punched its weight. 
when you look at what we are, when you look at the substance of what we are, we should be literally playing on the world stage as an economy. And at the moment, we're a long way from it. Now, we also have issues. We have issues of growth rate in some of our businesses and the sustainability of businesses. And let me make it clear. When I'm talking about businesses, I'm talking about the whole spectrum of businesses. A lot of people here, certainly from the SME sector, will say, well, is this of relevance to me? It's absolutely of relevance to you because the SME business community, the community business community, is actually the largest part of our economy. And yes, it would be great if we could get some, some global businesses into the region. But, you know, a global business that brings in a couple of thousand employees, welcome the, as it would be, is nothing compared to what we can do if we can unlock the potential of our SME and community businesses. So I would say to that part of the audience, don't think this is about somebody else. This is very much about you. It's very much about the whole city region and the businesses throughout the city region. We've got issues on productivity and skills. We've got issues with our uh, exporting track record. You know, you see how strong we are, and we have 8%, only 8% of our businesses exporting. Only 6% of our businesses actually export outside Europe. That actually, is, it's, an, it's an indictment in many ways on the city region. But what it does show is a huge, huge potential for the city region. And uh, you know, the theme of today is about realizing that potential. And, and the first part of realization is very much understanding what the potential is. And I hope you will agree, certainly from that slide and what's been said already, the potential is there. Now, now what about the LEP? What is the LEP? At its simplest, it's a public-private partnership. It is bringing the private and public sectors together to create a strategy and to provide a framework for economic regeneration. It is not a body that is a successor to Yorkshire Forward. Let's clear that out. Do not think of us as a body that is going to have large sums of money to come and spend on projects. That world has gone, and in some ways, the fact at this point, and there are sources of funding, and more sources of funding will come, but the fact that we are having to think for, of things from a different perspective, because we do not have pots of money, actually enables us to think differently and to be creative. What the LEP is doing is pulling together uh, the, the, the whole breadth of the economy to create a new way of working. What we have to achieve is a real focus for growth and aligned activity. And I will come back to this point of aligned activity. It, it was referred to in the transport session earlier. The decisions we make, the strategies we adopt, all have to be focused to, our, to achieving our ultimate objectives. And we will use our objectives in many ways as a test to what we should do and what we should support. There's a lot of activity in this city region, but in many ways, one of the things I'm learning is it is very diverse activity. Diversity is strength. We have a fantastically diverse region, but diversity can also be a weakness because it can mean that activity is, is relatively random and it's relatively isolated. And what we have to do is bring that activity together focus and then use that focus and use that activity broadly for the benefit of the whole region. And, and the board has come together and we have set a, a vision for the future of the city region economy. And that's it. World leading, dynamic in terms of, of changing and vibrant and responding to what the world out there is doing to the degree we can. Low carbon, Low carbon is not just important as an environmental issue, vastly important that that is. The market for low carbon industry and development of low carbon industry is currently estimated as four trillion pounds. The opportunity for businesses in this city region to grow into that economy is massive. 
And for those of you who say, well, that's ridiculous, it's a pipe dream. It is not. Any business that succeeds needs some, cl needs some clarity of vision. The road to achieving it will be difficult. There will be issues all, all along the way. And for those of you th who think that what we should be do doing is throwing in lots of quick wins, I'm afraid what we are talking about is a medium to long term strategy to turn around an economy, to refocus an economy, and to deliver for the benefit of the whole region. And we have to keep our eyes on that vision all the time. And I emphasize that last line. This is about growing the quality of life throughout the whole region. It is not simply about economic growth for the sake of economic growth. And the plan that we launched today, and in your packs, you've got a very short summary of it. The plan is launched online at the end of the summit. There's been a huge amount of time and effort and work and analysis put in to that plan, i.e. it is realistically based on evidence. It is not pipe dreams. The plan so important because it sets the objective. You've got the vision, you then have the start of a conversation, the start, the start of creating the structure to deliver that plan. It will change, it will progress, it will improve with your input and working together. Now, in terms of the targets, it's easy to, set, to have visions and, and to have warm words, perhaps. We took the view that we needed some very clear targets, some measurable targets, so that we can test the performance of the city region, and that when we are making investment and other decisions, we actually say, are they focused on achieving these targets? And in pure terms, for those of you who are not economists, you may say, well, average growth of 2.6%, that sounds incredibly low. Well, the UK at the moment is growing at something between 0 and 0.2% per annum. Current projections for the city region are something between 2 and 2.2%. If, if we achieve that, we will fall further behind the most successful city regions in Europe. And I emphasize Europe. A uh, comment was made in, a, in an earlier session about our comparison with Manchester. Uh, can I just for once try and put that to bed? I'm happy to learn from Manchester. I don't regard Manchester or any other part of the UK as where we need to be competing. We should be competing with the best city regions in the world. That growth rate, and it will be an average, and therefore there will be hard times and there will perhaps be easier times, hopefully easier times, will take us ahead. It will make us move more quickly to achieving more for the city region. And that employment growth, uh, you will see, to get even back to pre-recession levels, we have to find 60,000 jobs in this city region. That is an enormous number. It is achievable. The private sector, the growth of the private sector, the resurgence of parts of our economy with real focus can deliver it. We need to focus on doing things that make those very clear targets deliverable. And in terms of the green economy, you know, the, the, the government has set huge targets, reducing uh, emissions by 80% by 2050, increasing the uh, renewables generation of fuel massively by 2020. Massively important from, an, from a, an environmental viewpoint, but as I said earlier, as a business opportunity, it's immense. Uh, we launched in, in the city region last night uh, a bid for the Green Investment Bank. That is very important for the city region. It puts us right in the middle of that environmental growth. It gives us huge opportunity for business growth around the city region and around the UK.